I love the Zelda games. I love the Zelda world. I love Zelda music. I even love the water temple in Ocarina of Time. I love just about everything Zelda. And I feel like I need to share that with someone. And that's where you come in. I hope to somehow try and make sense of all of my feelings for the Zelda franchise as a whole. And at the same time to try and make it all into an entertaining video. So if that sounds interesting to you, then we might just have something in common. And that's pretty much the gist of it, so why don't we begin? It might seem strange to combine these sections, but trust me, they go hand in hand. Now, all Zelda games are adventures, with some being bigger than others. Sure, all of the games make you embark on this huge adventure through the lands of Hyrule, Termina, the open sea, and more. And you know, the best part about all of that is the focus set on exploring those worlds. Little by little opening up the world, learning more about all the races, culture, and history. Yeah, it's neat if nothing else. Now, exploration in games is something that's sorta easy to screw up. Whether that be huge worlds with little to nothing inside of them, or worlds with stuff in them, but the means of travel being either too boring or inconvenient. Maybe the world is filled with stuff and it's neatly sized, but everything is placed in illogical ways, which makes exploring more cumbersome than it has to be. Regardless, as I've said, exploring in Zelda games has always been a fun and a strong point of the games for me. And while the Wind Waker can seem more to the unnecessarily big world side of the argument because of the time spent sailing, I happen to think it makes the world more believable. And you unlock fast travel later on either way, so I see no problem with that. Even the biggest Zelda, Breath of the Wild, strikes the same balance, making the world believable and filled with shrines and such to find, and again, you unlock fast travel very early on. Now, it might just be me that's like this, but when I play Zelda games, I tend to immerse myself to the point of being Link, essentially. And what that translates to is me often forgetting I'm just playing a game. Instead, I tend to just wander and be less optimal about my playthroughs. I tend to just stand and stare at the world every now and then. Additionally, even alone, I tend to do voice acting for all characters. So, if that sounds strange, it probably yeah. is. Either way, that's just how invested I get in the Zelda games. And of course, for a player to remain immersed and above all else, invested in a game, the controls and general gameplay must feel natural and fun to use. Once again, this is something all Zeldas handle beautifully in my opinion. While all of the Zeldas use different controllers and mechanics, they all also feel similar in how Link behaves in the world itself, and that some moves that Link can perform is universal through all of the games, essentially. These are moves like the spin attack and the jump slash. It's just nice to know that you can play the latest Zelda game and know that you can always spin in circles with a sword until just about everyone on screen is dead. Additionally, items in Zelda games are a huge part of what makes playing the games so fun, and I mean that in the way they let the player interact with the world just like the movement itself. Among some other pretty obvious examples is the spinner from Twilight Princess. Now tying back to the world and exploration itself, as stated earlier, essentially all Zelda games offer some sort of fast travel function, but if you don't feel like using that, then you're in luck, because there are a lot of ways to travel in Zelda games, and all feel really fun to use. Horses, birds, boats, trains, boots, even a motorcycle, so just pick one and get exploring. This section will be very short, so as to not spoil stuff, and I feel like you should experience all of the stories as you play the games yourself if you haven't. I love Zelda stories. Even if some are simpler than others, they always tell a believable tale. Each game's story centers around different topics and emotions, making everything feel oh so fresh in my mind. Some of the standouts include Ocarina of Time, centering around determination and the fear of the world turning into what it did in the future part of that game. Twilight Princess, around grief, sorrow and jealousy. Majora's Mask centers around love, hate, loneliness and even the loss of loved ones. Honestly, you can keep going on like that with all of the games, but you get my point pretty well. For someone like me, who is a really emotional bastard, I pick up and value emotional cues and such in the games a lot. It just affects me to a deeper level than what I can put into words. 
One thing to note is that each game follows a certain timeline that you may or may not like all that much. I for one don't care about the timeline all that much, if I'm being honest. Just get the Hyrule Historia book for everything else but the timeline. I love a video game music, and thus I love Zelda music. Now for anyone that's seen my very first video, spoilers it's kinda trash, you know exactly what video game music means to me. However, to avoid getting sidetracked, I just need to say Zelda music is phenomenal. I love a good epic song, such as the various boss battle themes or final area theme in most of the games, but the stuff that resonates with me the most is usually the more sorrow sounding tunes. You know songs that make you take a step back and think about everything from memories to values in your life. Now that just might be me looking way too deep into various songs of the games. Speaking more generally, I love how all the songs match their respective games, vibe and art style if you get what I mean. Now I'm fortunate to own a couple of the official soundtracks on CD, so that's a win for me. However, no surprise, all of the OSTs are on the internet, so I recommend finding a Zelda game that looks interesting to you and then listening to its soundtrack. It's near impossible to pick my favorite Zelda song, but if you have the time to spare, here are a few I absolutely love in no particular order. As you can hear, there are a lot of different sounding tracks here, but I'm sure that listening to all of them you can get a pretty good mental image of what each game is like in tone and setting. I can't quite put it to words in a good way, but there's just something almost magic-like about Zelda music if you get me. I suppose nostalgia also plays a part in this, but not to the extent of making me blind to real critiques. Because man do I nag on games I love. We'll get you the best example of that in some time in the future. Zelda is awesome, amazing and the best for me. Whether it's 2D or 3D, it's all the same. The Legend of Zelda is a magical game franchise that keeps evolving itself through gameplay and immersive worlds, telling those oh so deep meaningful stories. I can't stress enough how much they mean to me and especially why you should play them. Now, if you're hoping for something like my top 10 Zelda games, then make sure you're subscribed for when that video comes up. I have been your host, and I hope you have a good one. See ya next video.